Okay, the cold hard truth about learning, I would say acquiring foreign languages. Acquiring a foreign language, and when I say foreign, really foreign, because many times people learn languages and they say, yes, speaking of foreign languages, foreign language, yes, but in reality, Sometimes they have 50%, 80% of similar words. Uh, some words are recognizable, some words are after a while when they tell, oh, okay, this, this, this we have the same. Um, once you have a hint, they are recognizable. Um, and at the end of the day, what is the goal? To understand, I never studied Spanish, I understand more than many people that study Spanish can but I cannot actively speak because I never I never studied Spanish so I, I, I cannot conjugate verbs uh, but I can recognize when people other people uh, do okay so I'm speaking about a language that is really different or quite difficult uh, really different is for us uh, languages for us who's Italian or whatever for people who speak uh, an Indo-European language if you don't know look it up in European Indo-European languages <coughs> we have in spite of all the difference the same way more or less the way say the same way of thinking the same generally speaking broadly speaking uh, successions of words, the order of words, subject, verb, object, not necessarily 100%. This is the tendency. Uh, we have preposition, many languages have declinisms, um, which are different from the, for example, the Turkish one, which is one every, every little parcel that is glued to the end have a singular of a single meaning. If you if you take Greek, Anthropos, us means as masculine, so languages as masculine, feminine, or neutral, maybe, neuter, um, tells you this accusative and tells you that it's plural. Um, in other languages, you would have three, three different things you add to the end of a word. Uh, so in European languages, they either they have the clinicians and some of them lost them. Italian lost. We have um, something similar, and even that uh, got. We actually uh, the only really uh, main difference is io means I and me 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 means me. Uh, in the past, there were two te. Uh, some people use te for nominati nominative and lui, egli, lui, now everybody use lui, lei, ella, lei, everybody use um, lei. So the tendency is <coughs> getting rid of the clinicians. But that's, these are things that are common. I don't know if other languages in the world have something there is a declinations the way they are in the in in the European languages. Take I'm I'm learning Russian, okay, Russian, which is a difficult language for us. Is it difficult as Turkish? I studied Turkish is difficult in a different way. Uh, I couldn't tell now. More or less, they equally difficult. There are things that are very difficult in right in a Turkish. I would say Turkish is not in, uh, inherently difficult um, as a structure that is alien to to us who speak in European languages. While Russian has some things that are quite difficult for anybody. Uh, so the problem is, I'm getting out on the limb, is it natural for a person to acquire a foreign language the way we do nowadays. I mean, in the past, in the past, people, unless they had tutors, uh, 
there were native speakers who, okay, only rich people in the past at the time of Rome had a tutor who speak Greek and they taught these people Greek because the, the Greek was the, um, the language of culture. That, um, it's like, um, I would say not posh language, and the important language of the time. Uh, it's like French, French in the nineteenth, 18th century. Uh, people acquired languages when they really needed to. When they were in the place, the language the place the language is spoken, and they were sort of forced to learn it. Is either learning or being isolated, but nowadays, nowadays, do we really need to? Now there are uh, Google, there is Google Translate, there are uh, some devices where you say something in there. Obviously, it's not perfect, but they, for you go to a foreign country, um, you need to get understood. You don't need to start a conversation about philosophy, uh, politics. I wouldn't recommend that, you never know. Or religion, even worse. You really need it. I'm going to Italy and learning Italian. You don't need it. Unless you speak it very well, you will not. Wasting hundreds of hours of time, and you go there, and in spite of all this, you don't understand people, and people would understand you better if you spoke English. Yeah, but you are doing for you, you go to show off, do something else. I play musical instruments and I think okay but learning for a language that's why we m most people fail because it goes again and I'm still studying Russian by what I'm saying but uh, I hope in time I will get to a level where I there are some Russians in Rome, uh, and if two things together, I will tag along if they want to, if they want me in, and I will use it. Why I learned Greek in the 80s? Because there were so many Greeks in Rome at the university. I was there. I spent hours speaking Greek. But, but, Learning for real a language involves a period of transition, I mean, if you don't live in a country, a period where you put in a lot of effort and you don't see results. Some people stop before, before getting results because they don't just don't know. And I know that, you know, saying like in good takavat lapidum, I mean, even drops. Uh, make a hole in a stone. But most people don't know it. It takes so much time just to get understood and understand people when they speak, if they don't speak too fast, if they speak in a f formal way, they don't speak, because in a everyday speech we do things, we cut words, you, we do things that don't sound the way we studied. And okay, I don't understand people because you studied the way spe people speak when they read the news or they read a speech or are in a formal context. But many, many times in every, in each language, we don't uh, pronounce things the way uh, foreigners study. Th there are some things that happen because. Uh, I'm going to gonna that in English I'm I have to go I have to go we don't say I have to go there are a lot of things happens in every language and that make uh, understanding real people in real life difficult So I'd say we are not hardwired 
to learn languages like this. We are hardwired to learn language in a very different way. And the more we get close to that way, the more we learn. So our learning a language should very close who should be very close to somebody who goes to a foreign country and have people helping him out. So if the people just speak the language, it goes over your head. I don't believe watching television uh, in time, maybe the situation um, with the visual aspect, but no. <laughs> because children don't learn like this. You don't, you, you don't put a child in front of TV and he learns his first or her, her, their first language. It doesn't work like this. You are like an apprentice and there are people around you that help you out in the situation and they people are also hardwired to help children speak and they learn. But when you get adult uh, you you grow up you you don't learn like this. I mean, you should, but it's very difficult. You don't have people around you to say, for example, in the town, come here, vieni qui, vieni qui, prendi, prendi, mettilo là, sopra, metti il sotto. You don't have people, it should be like this. It should be method like the on YouTube, but they don't do it because because we live in a society when something works and makes things so simple, but there's no gain attached to that. They want people to buy books, they want to people to uh, subscribe, subscribe to some website and pay for that. And when a video course done in a very interesting way through images would be a good start. But you should spend hours. Listen to me. Um, oh, 99% of what I see, maybe I'm wrong, but that's my opinion, of people they say about learning languages on the web is just not working. Otherwise, otherwise you would have a lot of common people speak languages, foreign languages. It doesn't happen. And those who pretend to speak foreign, f first of all, uh, it's very difficult to juggle more than three languages. Uh, whatever people say. I, I, I think the learning language is a good thing, but there are things that I like better. I like singing, I like playing music, music. I like playing my instruments. Uh, two days ago, up, after some years, I picked... This was my... No, this... But I started on a recorder and was 14. And I want to start it again. I like it. Sometimes when I do... And I practice simple things, I have my Russian exercise and things. So I'd say... Don't get into this craze of language learning because it's not working. People, first of all, if you're a, a, a speaker or an English speaker, uh, you you can choose whatever language you want. You already speak the, so to speak. I don't know. I, it will not be always like this. Um, languages change, but I don't know. You speak a language, the, the necessary language, to go everywhere and be, and you get understood. But an, a foreigner who speak learns English already. English is it's not that easy if you want to speak it properly. Yeah, it's a, a huge vocabulary, a lot of idioms. Then there is the spelling that is difficult, and then there are the, there is British English and American English as sub branches of the two. Okay, and then you have to learn another language. Uh, keeping a language alive involves spending time every day 
I can or I can still speak English because I so to speak I carved out in my life um, some hours where I'm in an English speaking country I watch videos in English I forget that's in English I understand but um, even your native language if you don't practice if you don't listen to it every day okay you never forget the basics but you get rusty um, some words are not so easily available in your mind that's why I always need to be constantly exposed to English because I live in Italy and I don't use it every day in Italy we use Italian if you're a Greek you use uh, Greek and they add language and then you have to learn English and then the other language for Christ's sake it's a lot on your plate so I'd say are you learning language because for your ego because you think it's cool you want people to say oh I, would. I don't care and the I tell, I'm getting a, the final final level if you really master a language, nobody will compliment you on that because because they assume you're a native speaker. So this is the um, what is it? I forgot in every language now. Okay, the absurd thing that uh, if you do it extremely well nobody would care because they think okay English is your native language no no it's not your native language okay I can pretend okay I say oh I'm an English speaker and and I, I learned Italian and I start parlo italiano oh ma tu italiano così buono così ta 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 grazie al cazzo sono italiano I mean okay so Sometimes they say, are you in Italy? Uh, oh, but you speak good Italian. Yeah? Why shouldn't I? Because I speak English. Uh, anyway, my thought is that maybe, maybe, the way we learn foreign languages and the way we think, I have to learn that language. I'm in Italy, okay? I want to learn Mongolian. Why should I? All because languages are neutral. I mean, I, how to put it? In, in reality, there the the result of, of thousands of years or years of constant speaking by people, and there. Are, if you're not one of them, why should you? And why should you be perfect? I mean, you're not a native speaker. You're, you're not supposed to speak a, as a native it, it involves so much. To what? Oh, now we're an native speaker. I speak perfectly. For Christ's sake, nobody gives a shit because they think I'm a native speaker. That, that's the, the the absurd and, and the and the whole process and then saying that and I like I like uh, I like learning Russian because I want to have access to that and I want to speak with people but would I say that I take it very 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 okay I'm learning very slowly, but I putting in enough time. That what it is? What, why are you learning something but you are um, you study a lot? Yes, that's the idea. You you are exposed to a lot of the target language, and you make steady but slow step forward, steps forward. Okay, headway. That's the idea. 
Otherwise, learning a language is a fucking pain in the ass. And that's why most people give up. That's why most people um, pretend they know the language because they always say, I'm learning Mongolian. Who cares? I, I just tell people, oh, it's very difficult. But they don't, they don't know how you speak Mongolian. And, and sometimes, I'll tell you what, people don't even believe you. One time I said, I speak Greek. Now my Greek is quite more than Greek, quite rust, but I used to speak very, very fluently. And uh, some people, oh, and it uh, happened for, that I, we bumped into a Greek person, I spoke Greek, and the person said, oh, but you speak Greek. And I said, yeah, I always said that I speak Greek. Ah, but what, you believed I was faking it? You believe I was pretending I could speak Greek, but I couldn't. And that's what people think many times. So don't do that to, to, to impress. And also, depend, it, I'll give an example. You speak a little bit of Italian. Oh, you speak Italian, you're good. You speak French, and they don't give a shit. And they answer back in English. So it depends on the language you're learning. I'm learning Russian. Do you think Russian could... They give a shit about you speaking Russian? No, they don't. And they tell you. They tell you. Oh, but you should... Many, many, a lot of Russians have no fucking idea how difficult it is. And they see I struggle because I do. Because eight months for a language like Russian is nothing. It would take at least four years to have a working knowledge of Russian where you don't make major mistakes, you understand when people speak, you have a pretty decent pronunciation, but you don't sound like a native speaker. So at the end of the day, how many people are that motivated? I tell you, not many. So why do people learn English? And sometimes they learn English because they really need it and they practice and they use it every bloody day. Because they use on the web, because they um, chat and via Skype and things and things. And in a way, in a way, this technological new word can help people. But Many, many people don't make the most of it. I, st I started and learned Greek, I learned Greek when it was very difficult, 1985, 84, 85, and there was no internet, nothing. And I started, I read books and the grammars. And, but at the end of the day, I make, I really learned Greek when I, dealt with real people. So that's the that's the the thing about learning um, foreign language um, so I'm trying to discourage you from learning or uh, if you really want no Um, but it's a warning. It's a warning because um, it's not this word of ideal word where oh I meet other people, I make new friends, I learn a new culture. It's a, I repeat that it's a fucking pain in the ass. 
because I either you take it very lightly, okay, but at the end of the day you're not learning the language, or you really want to learn a language, uh, and there are many many obstacles. Obviously, people, some people, are not scared of them, and some people are. So, what's the difference if you really like something? you're not they don't they're not a problem all these things that's why some people excel in some f fields and other in other others in others but knowing from the beginning It's not a walk in the park, it involves a lot of time and not, it's not a given that the people will compliment on you and it's not a given that I, I don't know how to put it you have to see in the long term long distance and if you can spend one hour, one and a half hours every day in this language and even if you don't have immediate result you are self-confident no problem if you're not self-confident or you don't like so much because that's, a, that's the thing if you really some, like something that's why I said before picking up Russian since I didn't like at all all these bad things that are banded about about Russian Russians and invaders the bad guys in all American movies I was strongly motivated just out of but I, I spent two or three times two or three months thinking about it I don't jump into it immediately having said that that's food for thought. You don't have necessary to agree with me. Goodbye.